Gregory. Coming out dressed as a monkey for some reason. With a selfie stick to boot. This is amazing. Looking uh, to get back on track here at FCC 10. But we always like uh, a little bit of comedy value and uh, certainly Scott Gregory's bringing that, isn't he? We've never seen that. Well, I don't think we'll see it again. Well, Tom Watson's known for the monkey ad. I wondered what the Caesar stood for in his nickname, if it was a reference to Julius Caesar. It's obviously a reference to Caesar, the main character of the Planet of the Apes. It's all making sense now. Oh, and perhaps another late contender for walkout tune of the night here. Faithless Insomnia for Scott Gregory. Pumping through the Premier Suite at the Bolton Reebok. As Scott Gregory prepares to get back on track. Looking to put his third notch in the wing column. Team Coliseum has produced some studs over the years. There's another one in the cage right now and his name is Scott Gregory. Making his way now to the cage. Aaron AB, a fighter we are very familiar with at uh, Full Contact Contender. He's been the one fighter who we've been able to see rise through the ranks. Coming through as an amateur. Last time as an amateur, he, he came off a st stunning performance against Tom Murray. That full contact contender. We then saw him make his professional debut against Mick Gerrard at full contact contender nine. Unfortunately, that didn't go his way that night. He lost to a unanimous, unanimous decision. And Jez, I wasn't here for that fight, but I heard many, many good things about it. Oh, it was, it was a cracking fight. Just so far, so full of energy. Just need a fire, took his foot off the pedal, just went for it, held the leather. And, uh, you know, on that night, it, it, unfortunately, it didn't go AB's way, but uh, yeah, you know, there's it, it, not a lot more he could have done. But he's looking to return to winning ways against Scott Gregory here at Full Contact Contender 10. You know, both these guys are in a very similar position as pros, both 2 0, both coming off their first loss. Both have a common opponent in John Spencer. Aaron Abbey also getting a professional debut win over Josh Banger, a very talented kickboxer from the south of the country. Obviously lost on his FCC debut as a professional against Mick Gerrard last time out, as you said, Jez. So both these guys looking for a bit of redemption, looking to get back on track, back to winning ways. And really looking to make a mark in the professional flyweight division here in the UK. Scott Gregory, Aaron Abbey. Three five minute rounds if they need them. Into 
missing first by an hour of the new corner. He enters the game to the next match loss record of two victories and one defeat, representing Team Coliseum, Scott Caesar Gregory! And his opponent, fighting across the game by the hour of the red corner, enters the game to the mixed match loss record of two victories and one defeat. This fight is brought to you by TSC Stores, the best supplements, MMA equipment and fight wear available in Manchester and crew. Visit them at www.tscstore.co.uk. Veteran referee Neil Hall gets this one underway. Scott Gregory in the black, Aaron Abbey in the red. Expect a high pace contest between these two flyweights. Gregory goes for the body kick, ends up being pushed face first to the mat by Abby. Yeah, these, these flyweights like to force a pace, don't they? Like to come out, swing in, energetic, non-stop action. It's what we can expect. Like we mentioned earlier, three five minute rounds. Will we get to see them all? Time will tell. Some formidable corner teams for this bout, the likes of Pietro Mengo, Jason Tan, in the corner of Aaron Abbey. Saw the Hangman Rogers and Aaron Chatfield, the UK MMA original, in the corner of Scott Gregory. We saw Aaron Chatfield on Facebook this week, wondering what he was going to do with his new GoPro, and he appears to have found something to do with it in filming this fight here at FCC 10. Good control here from Aaron Abbey, but Gregory powering through on that single leg. Fantastic stuff yeah. from Scott Gregory there, Jez. Yeah, really nice, really like that. Very patient, just waiting for the opportunity. Picked that leg, took that momentum and is now in that commanding position. Trying to establish, but Abbey looking to sneak out the back and the fight's back onto its feet. Fantastic stuff by these two flyweights. Nice knee up the middle there by Scott Gregory. Abby looking for the plum clinch. Oh, lands a big knee of his own. And another huge knees. Aaron Abby trying to pounce, trying to finish this fight. For a second there, I thought that might be over. Just Gregory shaking off the cobwebs here. Abby's on his back like a spider monkey. Trying to get that second hook, isn't he? Really digging even deep for that. Gregory turning up. Gregory's going to shuck him off here, Jez. Yeah, he's done well. Maybe a little bit too impatient from Aaron there. Trying to get it secure and wasn't able to, and now he finds himself on his back. Abby throwing up the triangle. Gregory needs to be carefully switching for an armbar. And that this is dangerous. Yeah, that elbow is deep in there. He's got this got potential here. Squeezing those legs. Trying to extend his hips. Gregory doing a great job stacking his man, defending this armbar. Everything in your fiber tells you to pull out. What you really need to be doing is pushing. Aaron Abbey trying to extend this arm. Hooking the leg to prevent the slam there. Yeah, he, he, might, he might look to twist this round and maybe switch into a triangle. Plenty of options here. Uh, he's gone back to the armbar. Trying to get a rotation. He's got the elbow nice and securely passed. That's absolutely critical. I would like to see him. He's cranking that arm, Jez. This is side and there's the submission. Aaron Abbey with a fantastic first round armbar of Scott Gregory. Absolutely slick jiu-jitsu yeah. from Aaron Abbey there. It was, we said, said he had options available, but he pursued with that arm, found the space, cranked it up, and has earned himself a top victory. Well-deserved Aaron Abbey, back to winning form. 
And we'll send it over to Jonathan Millard for the official result. And so, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 23 seconds of the first round, your winner, by umpire, Aaron Alvin! Let's hear it, Prince of Bunker, let's hear it, the Scott Gregory! Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When it contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity... Oh! I'd just like to say tonight, if you see any of the charity buckets going around, or any of the collections, it's for a one-year-old child called Toby. And he's got 